What do you think of the preacher? I think that, that would be the message is good, but I feel like your delivery is not that good. Oh, you don't like the preacher? Like, no, it's not that I don't like the preacher. I, just, I like the message. I just don't like how he's doing it. Like the method? Yeah, the method. Because I feel like if you want to reach these kids, like you got to be a little bit less aggressive. It's kind of aggressive. Like when people talk, it's kind of like back and forth. Like when I'm used to preaching, people want to receive it. And I feel like... Well, that's because you preach in church, right? Right, when people want to receive it. Well, this is different out here, though. Out here... Most of these people are lost, so they're not going to want to receive it. In fact, the Bible says none seek for God, that they're hostile in mind against God outside of Christ. So that's why, um, you know, the Bible says that the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers. So they're veiled, actually, when it comes to the gospel. They don't see the, the, the beauty of the gospel and the truth of it. So that's why they reacted. The same thing happened to Paul, my man. Right. Remember Paul? Remember what happened? He was stoned. He was lashed. He was beat with rocks. Right. Remember that? Yeah. So some of that's, you're seeing some of that, but and it's, I mean, not all are like this, but, but. So it's works. Well, what do you mean by works? That's a good question. But what do, what do you mean by, by works? What I mean by works is if your intent is to preach and get the message out there, get, yeah. get the thought going, yeah. do you see, like, do you see, like, the effects of it? Do you have kids that come Yeah, look come at, here's the effects church? right there, man. Well, I mean, not that. I don't think she's okay. going to come to church. I don't think well, she's going to Oh, so you're Christ. saying, like, like saying salvific, yeah. salvation. Yeah. Uh, we see sometimes, yeah, but the thing is, so I think. the goal, then, I guess? Yeah, that's a great question. Great question. So, so you know, we, just like you, you know, when you look at Romans 1, 16, it says um, the gospel is the power of God and the salvation, right? So we know we we got to bring the gospel. And then in Romans later on, it says that, how will they hear without a preacher? Um, hearing, uh, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God or Christ, right? So all these things, not to mention like the example that we do have of, of the apostles and Christ when they do go out and preach. That our goal really is just to lift up Christ, to preach Christ, to call men and women to repent and believe in the gospel. We leave the results up to God, you know. This we believe that the method of God is is um, sharing the gospel with others, whether it's one on one, which so is fine, or preaching. So this is your calling. You feel like yeah, this but, is what God's called you to do. Yeah, for sure. We okay. do one on one stuff, but yeah, we do feel like the Lord has moved us to, to preach Christ out, you know, into the world, to the lost. Yeah. So I mean, it's, and it's like you guys. I'm not saying you know you got to come out and preach, mm -hmm. but. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for the guys that just do one-on-one -on -one stuff. Praise God. You know, we need that. Yeah. Um, and we do that. But at the same time, yeah, we believe. Because if you notice, man, like, so you get a guy, he's preaching, right? But see all these students out here, they're listening to some extent of the gospel. So we're sharing the gospel. Now, it's hard to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with all the students. Right, right, of course. So, uh, but we are, like, if you look right here, you have the one-on-one the -on -one stuff. So, um, so a lot of that is is behind the scenes work but yeah i mean this is this is what we do we just come out the bible and really try to exalt christ and and uh kind of leave leave uh, yeah 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 leave the results up to the lord you know um it may not be something that happens right away but maybe you plant to see yeah that's a lot of it seed planting you bet uh, now back home where where i labor out of college consistently like three or four days a week and we do the same thing and we're able to really instill some discipleship yeah. into and even out here, we work with local churches so that, you know, interested students looking for churches or whatnot, we're able to say, hey, there's a good church here. Sometimes, like tomorrow and the next day, the pastor will be out here. Okay. Um, and so we, you know, we, there's a lot. I, I, I don't go to school here. I was just passing through. Okay. Where are you? I, I, went, I where are you from? to school a long time ago. Where are you from? Are you? I'm from Kentucky. So I went right to on. a Southern Baptist private school okay. for All college. So. All right on, man. I, I graduated from uh, uh, Southern Baptist Theological Seminary. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, I understand. I was just walking by and I stopped and was listening and just no that's fine man it's a good question so, yeah, yeah no that's a great question, question. hey hey what's your name cooper cooper nice, nice to meet you cooper you. yeah appreciate what you do. hey thanks for the you're questions going. though yeah take care you. man god bless cooper but here's the problem here's the problem christ was seen resurrected and people still denied him and i preach christ resurrected today and you guys still deny him and all i'm saying is you guys love your sin you're enslaved to your sin you can't do anything but sin. When you leave this meeting, sir, you're going to go back to your sin. The Bible says, as a fool returns to his folly, a dog returns to his vomit. I'm sorry? If you go back to your sin, like a dog, the Bible says, as a fool returns to his folly, a dog returns to his vomit. 
As a sinner, I am. As a sinner, I am. So here you've got, here you've got God's grace being preached today, and you guys don't want His grace. God's love is being preached today. You don't want His love. You guys love your sins so much that in spite of this sacrifice of Jesus Christ as the Savior of the world, in spite of the sacrifice, you guys would just be like, you know what? I'd rather live in sin. I'd rather live in sin. So yeah, if you go back to your sin after, go, after this little meeting today, God sees you as a what? A sinner. That's what he sees you as. And you guys love your sin. You rejoice in your sin. I'm not calling you anything other than you are. Catholics aren't Christians. Catholics are wicked sinners. Catholics are religious people. Catholics don't believe in the atoning sacrifice of Jesus. They believe in the Eucharist. They believe in purgatory. They believe in their good deeds. I'm preaching Christ crucified by and what Jesus. Do you guys want to see? Heaven didn't exist when Jesus was alive. Jesus. It was the idea of purgatory. Purgatory merged into the idea of heaven and was later introduced. I want to tell you guys something. Jesus Christ has always been. Jesus Christ stepped into time as God the Son. Jesus Christ was in heaven, glorifying himself as the Christ, as God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, this perfect triune God. He stepped into time, having been in heaven from forever past. How does that he wasn't created. He wasn't created. Catholic believes in, in worshiping Mother Mary. No, they don't. Sure they do. They don't Hail Mary. Hail Mary, 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 full of grace. Are you kidding me? They Hail Mary. They don't say, Hail Jesus, full of grace. Hail Mary. I'm not going to say, you guys, Hail Mary is Catholic. Okay. So historically, somewhere along the line is Abraham. You're not Jewish because you're circumcised, because I'm circumcised. I mean, I, I would, I'm, I'm agnostic. Thank you.